Mitch Henke, a senior. He and Brody Angley are the two that will be moving on at the end of the year. Henke will get his degree here in Santa Clara in March in finance, wants to pursue a career in investment banking. That one off the, off the hand being short. At this part of the ball game, particularly when players get tired, their legs start to get exhausted and they can't get the ball up on free throw shots. Critical. Nice move by Austin Day and a foul. Boy, Austin Day is quick. What a quick first step, John. Yeah, he's showing a lot of heart for a freshman right now. He was an all state first team player in high school. Shows he can get to the basket, knows where his body is, tries to evade. Big John Bryant. Gets the foul and also gets the bounce. And that's four now on John Bryant. So Day at the line One shot for, for a three-point play. Gonzaga by two, and it's Gonzaga in large part. Free throws right now down the stretch are a difference. The Zags have been sturdier at the foul line. Including the two by Stephen Gray with three tenths of a second left to force overtime. Dowdell didn't shoot it. Austin Day with that wingspan closing out on Gunderson. Yeah, you just don't feel the confidence right now on the part of the Broncos when they've yes. got the ball on offense. It seems like no one really wants to take the shot. Getting helped again with a foul on the dribble penetration. Stephen Gray, his third. And it's going to put Angley at the line. At the, line. At, the end of, at the end of regulation, remember in the final minute, Dowdell missed two for Santa Clara and Gray made two for Gonzaga. Yeah, I didn't see, frankly, on that play who was going to be sent to the line. And I was watching him peel out of that little huddle, and I was hoping Dowdell wasn't going to be left with the responsibility of shooting it again. Nobody has fouled out in this one. Angley has been money at the line for the Broncos. All of Santa Clara's points in this overtime have come from the foul line. Tie game, two and a half minutes. Angley playing with four fouls. Pargo taking him in, and Bryant's gone. So somebody was going there, and it's John Bryant. So the first foul out of the game is the Santa Clara big man at 218 overtime. Now that'll make a big difference. You'll see he's trying to help out Brody Angley by retreating. Once Pargo makes it through the little screen there, Bryant comes back to get him, and Fisher right there to see him reaching over and hitting his arm. Such a good play, though, John, by Gonzaga. Just Pargo, just take Angley. He's got four fouls. Just take him. Yep. He's got a both. Both uh, Bryant and Angley have four fouls, so he takes either one of them. John Bryant with 22 points, six rebounds. He was 12 of 13 from the foul line. And now Santa Clara will have to try to win this in overtime without their 6'10 presence inside. OK, Benugo is going to return. As a player, the frustrating thing is to have a game like John Bryant had tonight. And if you don't win, it feels like every positive thing you did will be erased. Isn't that what's really facing Santa Clara right now? No, absolutely. I mean, all, all the good work they put in for the first 40 minutes of this ball game is going to be washed away if they can't pull this out. Margo makes and Gonzaga never led this game in the second half, never had the lead in the second half, but we're in overtime. And that's what's emotionally wrenching. Well, you know that Brody Angley is going to step up here in the last two minutes of the ball game, but somebody else is going to have to help him. There's going to have to be a player that emerges.